guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Millennial Talks, where we discuss everything pertaining to millennials, from finances to money to food to, you know, general lifestyle, but as it concerns millennials. If you've not watched our previous videos, please go and watch it and support us by liking, commenting, and sharing the link. Today, we're going to be discussing something very juicy, like everywhere. Everybody talks about influencers. Everybody wants to be an influencer. In fact, on everybody's page, you see brand influencer, brand ambassador. But what? who exactly is an influencer? What do they do? Is it is it a business? Is it a job? Or is it just for clout? So we're going to find out. Join us on the show today as we discuss influencer marketing in Nigeria. Hi, Nifemi. How are you? Hello, Bukumi. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Do you want to be an influencer? <laughs> Who doesn't? I mean, everybody wants to yeah. be, every young individual wants to be um, an influencer. And it's, like you said, it's a buzzword. And sometimes we get carried away. That's the truth. Um, because we see the type of lives that these influencers are living on a daily basis, we, we think that that's the space hmm. to go. But just kind of hold that up for a while. You know, just hold it. Because that, that lifestyle thing is serious. According to Market and Market, an American research firm, it says that the influencer marketing industry is going to grow from $12 billion to $23.4 billion in 2024. So that's like a lot of money. Lot. So that's the potential we have exactly. for influencer marketing. And, and I think it started like in 20, wasn't it 2017? It became, so I would say 2015, 2015 okay. you know, when social media really started exactly. to you know, yeah platforms you started to you know bubble and blow mm -hmm. like that as you know as we say in nigeria so i think yeah it will be 2015 for me mm -hmm. so it's, it's it's a really big space because from 2015 to the estimated amount that they have projected in 2024 it's really an opportunity for millennials to look into that space and see yeah, some of well, the i think that at the same time because we you know influencers give us this um idea of you know, the kind of lifestyles that they live, they're always mm. about living this life, that yes. car and... Mm -hmm. you no, know, but the real definition of an influencer is someone, a trusted individual, you know, who recommends a brand or a product for use by, you know, to their audience, really. Exactly. That's what an influencer is. So they actually influence you to buy something because their audience trusts them. Mm -hmm. So I would buy a, um, a product from probably um maybe Ninja brand chick okay. that's because um i know her i know she would have tried it mm. and she's very open she's honest and stuff like that so i would buy any product that she recommends mm. but today we're seeing you know influencing is just really about traveling you know you yes. know the big life and stuff and just say for me i feel like there's a fraudulent part of it where you know these people give us a fake idea to how life is and you know fake representation but well today we really want to I really want us to focus on the business angle of okay. it. Like, is it a right. profitable business? Do you think it's like it's profitable? Apart from the whole free gifts and stuff. Okay. I believe it's it's a profitable business. The thing about going into any space or any sector that you have interest in is the ability for you to also be able to identify the potential for growth in that space, right? So you want to go into it. I, I believe I know a lot of people that are upcoming influencers but they are not making money from it because they have not yet seen that potential and they have not yet been able to structure it properly to reach some brands okay so according to um placard because we, we got this influencer marketing report from placard right okay? and placard is a um digital marketing firm in nigeria that connects brand with blogs and fashion sites and individuals so if you really want to like um you know you know um first expose your brand mm -hmm. or if you're an influencer you think placard is like a good platform for you to you know get that done so placard what they what they just did here is to you know, create a um report for us to actually read and they, there's there are a lot of influencers here that you know that were listed we have pictures so if you really need the report we're going to link it here um in the description box box for you to you know um go and read it so we're seeing um what they did basically is like um it's just research like um yeah, brand yeah. loyalty among influencers do your do this your audience actually trust what you're doing mm. and i think for me what really caught my attention is the amount of brands that actually paid influencers in 2020 and uh, no in 2019 and he said that um, nigerians spent 50 Fifty-five percent of Nigerian brands said they spent between ten million and fifty million in twenty nineteen. 
So we're seeing increasingly there's influencer marketing budget in a lot of yes. brands um, planning for mm -hmm. the year. So I feel like as a as an influencer, I think what do you think that we can like you can suggest to them to take advantage of this whole you know budget industry? Mm. So to take to take advantage, right? Creativity for me yeah, is the word like you have to just... because I'm I'm being influenced every time I'm on Instagram. Yeah, I'm being influenced and. What really gets my attention is um, influencers that are able to um, create content for whatever brand it is they are presenting or for whatever, for whatever product it is that they are reviewing in a very creative way. Yeah, we have like, we have to mention names. We have Fistyle, Fusudo. Exactly. In the tech, and in the tech space, right. We have um, Tayo, I know, real right. estate. And we so have Dima. Yes, makeup and yes, lifestyle. Makeup and lifestyle. So it's not just in people just think oh it's fashion. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really not only fashion. I think it's important that we that we touch that a lot because most young people, females especially, because I, I believe that if we also try and look at the percentage of the males as opposed to the females in the space, we'll see a whole lot more Women. Yes, a whole lot more women. But I don't always. I don't. Oh, the thing about me is that I don't like when we all look in the same. We're all looking towards the same things. Where everybody's looking towards fashion. Everybody's looking towards uh, trying on clothes. Like tech, real estate. We yes, you know we also need influencers in education. Right. We need inf something that younger people can actually look up to. Exactly. In politics, mm -hmm. not somebody that maybe one politician paid to chase clouds and you don't a lot of people want to go viral but not mm. the truth is not everyone will go viral you have, sometimes mm. you have to build your audience from ground up and, and you it looks like it's only pe uh, brands that or people that oh they sh they they are either you know either um till towards entertainment mm. um sexual, comedy sex comedy and mm. just like, it mm. looks like those are the only ones that actually you know get the attention mm. but i feel like and which maybe doesn't encourage um, other people who you know who have something to offer, you know, in the influencer marketing industry. Yeah, because they see that the people in the um, fashion space, the people in the it's entertainment just... space, are doing so much more and are getting so much more attention that they are doing. So, and it's looking at the opportunity in it. So, if you're investing money into into yeah, because it's really not honestly, easy. To buying start, gadgets, if you are making videos, if you are doing um right. a blog, mm -hmm. writing, and all people of have to see your content to you know follow you. And influencing is about the numbers. Yeah, you need to so have the numbers. Like, so yeah. you need to also because that's what you're going to use to market. By the time you are writing your rate your rate card, mm -hmm. you're going to say, oh, this is who how many people follow me. This is actually my engagement. Rate. These are how many people actually engage because if a brand gives you, um, they want to promote their content with you, they, yes. they, they want to know, they want to estimate how much you're going to make from, you know, that from content. the numbers that yeah, you have. So if they don't, if they don't see it, they won't actually give you the job mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. They just rather give somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I think from the angle of um, consumers who actually consume content, I feel like people need to support other, you know. People, people in other sectors, mm -hmm. not just um, in fashion, in lifestyle. Oh, I know, yeah, we, Nigeria is hard. We want just want to entertain ourselves. Mm -hmm. So most times, social media is like that escape um, rules. But I think we really need to support, you know, support us, like people like us mm -hmm. that are talking about, you Finance, know, su support knowledge. Yes, also. knowledge, development, everything. Like the, the support is essential in those spaces because you can't continue to put in efforts putting time putting plans and you're not seeing the results because if you don't have the following nobody would nobody would reach out to you mm. do you understand and researcher this is where research as well comes in like, and this video would really help the millennials that don't know of a platform like placard right it's a community where really really young people that are just starting they can go to this these communities you know connect and begin to also yeah. build for themselves yeah especially if you know you have something valuable to offer mm. people 
because you ever don't just run, rush into influencer markets because people they just give people free gifts. Mm-hmm. How long will free gifts last? Mm-hmm. If yeah, somebody might give you a free soap, free bottle of uh, coke or mm-hmm. something, or free bottle of I don't know, free dress. But really, you need some. You need to make. I then this you know on this platform we talk about making money. You need yes. a stable source of income. income. And this is where research comes in. Okay. So there, there's this um, influencing gist that happened some time ago. Some influencers were getting products, do you understand? While some were getting paid. But because they were not really communicating, the ones that were getting the products had no idea that there some was a budget, actually, like the yes, company created I I a heard, budget yes. for that they were supposed to give to the influencers. But because these younger ones that had little experience in that field, they didn't they didn't research, they didn't find out that oh, does this company have a budget for what I for the content yeah, I can actually budget for it? But the, if they come and if they come and um, attend to you, if they come ask for your services mm-hmm. or demand your services, and you don't bring a card, you are not professional. You don't. Mm-hmm. A lot of um, mm-hmm. interested have agencies. Agencies these yes. days they are registered to agents. They have um, what they call these people. Um, is it Agent managers? management. They have management. They mm-hmm. are so they talent, actually talent yes, management companies come that in. actually help them to manage these mm-hmm. things. So really. You have to just. You have I mean, to it's structure. just it's just all about if you want to make money, you know, you have to also put. And in, you have to be good at what you do exactly because you, you have to ensure money. that you're adding value so that people can trust mm-hmm. you enough, you know, to um buy or purchase whatever a brand is asking you it's to cool. promote. Really, right. it's, and it's, your content shouldn't just be about making money because people can tell, people mm-hmm. can smell you from afar. They will just say. Because I remember there was a girl on social media, she had one million followers and not, she, she I think she sold shirts or something and not one person bought it, even if I'm one, one million followers. So it's really not about your number of following, but it's about the influence that you have on mm. the people that actually, exactly. you know, follow your And content. the consumers can even tell when influencers are being genuine. Yeah, they can. <laughs> from it's going to make care. Everybody from loves to make exactly. care. From going because, to social media, you know the ones that actually people need to see authenticity. Thank like, you. Like social like, media has portrayed fake, fake lives. Yes, and, and if you notice, it's putting a lot pressure of curated, on people. When, it, when, it, when your content is over curated, mm-hmm. like when it's so plastic, people can yes, tell yes. that um, there's something mm-hmm. wrong somewhere. But when they can see the like as a Niger, uh, you, mm-hmm. you are talking like a Nigerian. Exactly. You are doing videos like in your house is. You know, mm. it's, everything is not, you know, so perfect, like, mm. oh, you are plastic or something. Yeah. People would like you. People are seeing your tears, they are seeing your struggles, right. they can relate with you. People want somebody that can relate. So if you are looking to influence, mm. you know, people want something that they can mm. relate with. So the point here is that for millennials who would want to also make money from this influencing marketing space, they need to be authentic. Yeah, basically, just mm-hmm. need to be authentic. And I think from the report, it also says how influencers determine their rates. And it talks about how some people say that it's made available. Some people just, you know, some people receive compensation one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Some people receive um, a free trip. For example, if I just if Blue wants to work with you, they can just give you a free weekend getaway mm-hmm. and stuff. So it's, I think it just boils down to the influencer to be able to decide, you know, what they want for themselves. And I think um, another thing we should just discuss, discuss, okay, we discuss how influencers want to be paid. You know, I don't even know how influencers want to be paid. It just depends on you as an influencer anyway mm-hmm. to decide, you know, how you want to be paid and the structure of your payments, really. Mm-hmm. Then, um, I think, um, okay, we're going to move. Is there a difference between celebrities and influencers? Are there differences? Yes. Yes. Okay. Honestly. So. <laughs> Me, I, do you know that brands brands even prefer to work with influencers sometimes because you know that celebrities to even get through to them you know sometimes there's always this uh, busy busy thing that comes with it so i have the brand might i'm sorry for smaller brands yes yes so i have i have a friend that she she does work with a whole lot of um celebrities her name is timmy so she was you know when you speak about something and you and you're saying that the celebrities don't even show up because today they are in this country, tomorrow they are in another they are country. They are not plenty money. They are not interested. Even, <laughs> trust me, they would collect the plenty money. And they won't show up. And they still wouldn't <laughs> show up. So, the, the inf- for celebrities, we, we all know them. But the influencers, they, they stand out to us because they built they are their, always there they built their content they built their brand them. Ex- like um, for instance mr macaroni he was just fresh out of nyc when he began creating content so <laughs> so his period. craft spoke for him honestly period, period. his craft really, spoke so for I him think, 
celebrities would really probably work with um although the person the services are different levels mm -hmm. so celebrities prefer maybe would um work with um established brands because mm -hmm. they will probably have that budget for them mm -hmm. for example and, and um, anthony joshua worked with blue mm -hmm. uh, don jazzy although i know don jazzy actually helps uh, really um younger you know younger folks in the music industry it's but it's big enough every <laughs> yeah it's big enough, everybody yeah. will find it's who really, to work yes, with the, this true. one will connect that's with this true. one you, know, and you just me, need think, to look for your space yes, and, and I, hone your crafts and that yes that's it. it's your craft mm. it's not really about you not snatching people's wings mm, on the street mm -hmm, to gain mm -hmm. um attention it's not by being vulgar to gain attention because i really want a i really want to see an, an, an industry an influencer marketing industry where all that sectors, like yeah, people, education. you don't have to, you know, do some things. You don't have to like go oh, fashion, beauty, mm. and stuff. There are other, especially in Nigeria, we need we need people who are going to speak for us, who are going to, you know, carry our the prestige of Nigeria yeah. to, you know, to the world and show us. We've been doing that in music <laughs> already. So, well, you know, we need in science, we need in STEM, we mm -hmm. need for women and right. stuff like that. And I'm really happy that we are seeing a lot of women do that on social media these days. Mm -hmm. There's um. There's this um platform. Oh my God, the name just you know okay. vanished from my is, head. Is it is it tech? She's Oduayo. Yeah, okay, I know Oduayo. Mm. Then you know she's um she's just a woman. AJS tribe and is AJS tribe. She, you know, it's a platform where you know professionals come together to help mm. each other. You know, to just um career development, personal development, and stuff like that. So why not um. We're not advertising anybody, but these are really real yeah, people who are like examples. Things, yes, mm. that we know. So I think celebrities, influencers. I think a lot of brands are more comfortable. According to the report, anyway, it just said that a lot of brands are more comfortable engaging with influencers actually because they feel like influencers have deeper relationships mm. with their audience. You know, a celebrity can just come. Oh, I, I <laughs> like one very funny thing is a, is a, is this ad with David Doe and Infinix. Oh, I have a feeling David Doe never use an Infinix phone, mm. so it did not influence me to buy. Exactly. But if someone else says, oh, Infinix, maybe if you start your phone to do, mm. um, you would reviews, see a proper yes review, reviews infinite for the me box, yes all the time the specifications thank you mm. i might buy so really i think real the real the key takeaway for me is just be authentic yeah be mm. creative do your research and create a structure and also look into those sectors that are not that are not yet um looked into and create valuable content for From there, the yeah. audience because you surely have your own audience your people will find you really mm. your people exactly. will find you really. you might not go viral immediately but trust me if you're putting awesome content out there people actually look for you and pay you for what you do so thank you for joining us today on this episode we hope that you join us on the next one we'll be happy to have you also follow us on our social media platforms displayed on the screen and log on to our website www.prosharenj.com to watch our videos, read our news stories, reports and analysis until we come your way again. Thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video.